You are watching The Garden Corner Show. I'm j Dog John Carsaboom. We are crazy passionate about everything, almost, I think. Everything gardening that we know of. Um, and we're very, very real about it. I'm here with Mr. Dave. And how are you, Mr. Dave? Did you see my cool new hat? You can't wait to hear the story. This is a hat I got from our from the crew here for Christmas, and it, I love the hat. Love it. Can you get close up of this hat? I, I love, and you know, I wore this to my sister's to, to the family Christmas on, at my sister's place, and she wants me to change my Facebook picture. Did you get the side shot? Very nice. And this side too? You know what? Even it's better. Side, yeah. And you know, the, the neat thing... Are those pockets? Pockets? No. no th these are ear flaps. So when they, they tie down and when it gets too hot, I can flip them up and it's fur coated. Well, not real fur, but you know, good fur. It just and I wore it to my to the to family Christmas at my sister's house and she she's a different style she 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 thinks that it's she thinks it's not in style and I'm arguing with her no this is very in style you know if I feel like in this this one that I need to get a a uh, hat comb just to comb the hat. Anyway, and also I've been waiting for some cold weather to wear it. Just, I could almost wear a t-shirt today. It doesn't feel like a t-shirt weather day today, but and it's kind of rainy. And I don't want to get, I don't want to get my hand all wet. Anyway, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, today is big letter day today. <clears throat> we got a letter. Can you believe it? Someone asked, someone, two. huh? Is that two now? I, the two letters, yeah. Let, listen to this. And I want to thank you very much. Dear Mr. Carr Saboom. Thank you for identifying my little blue flower today. Wow. I'll be back in the spring to buy those geraniums. And I want to thank you for running such an excellent business. Your nursery is a source of inspiration to me as an artist. I like to walk through for its magical atmosphere and most often cannot resist purchasing a beautiful plant. Thank you very much, Trisha. <laughs> what a nice... What a nice thing to write. Isn't that amazing? Gosh. And you know what? I hope I got your blue flower right. That's what my fear is. My sister, by the way, she sent me a picture. This is my other sister. She sent me a picture of, can you identify this blue flower? I have no idea what it is. So I, I, I know not everything that there is. Um, hey, um, I want to tell you about bamboo. I know it's in the middle of winter and you're thinking, what is he talking about bamboo for? But really, you can plant it any time of the year. And there's just a couple of things. I'm going to show you some basics about bamboo because they're really a great, easy growing plant. And, um, and they, they can work well in containers. And if you, and sometimes on running bamboo, the big fear is that you, you plant this bamboo and it just runs like crazy. You can plant it in a container and then you know, have it, have it um, contained and then let it grow to any height that you like. I've got a couple of different varieties here to show you. Um, this is a short running, a, a dwarf variety of bamboo. It's a white striped dwarf bamboo. I can't even say the botanical name. Can you believe that? Gosh, what kind of expert am I? Tessella mesmaminiana albostriatus. Try, try saying that three times. This is just a dwarf bamboo. Dwarf bamboos tend to run like crazy. If you want something filled in fast, the dwarf bamboos are very good. Uh, so they, they really go to town. They stay low. That's what makes them famous. Foot, maybe two foot tall. Shear them any time. They can take the sun, they can take some shade as well. And what happens if they get a lot of sun and not a lot of water, they start to burn at the tips. But a dwarf variety of bamboo 
if you want it to fill fast, this is an option. Also great one. Just a simple container of it is, 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 is a nice look. Now, I've got this one here, but I want to talk, to you, talk about that one, this one a little bit later. Right behind me are some taller bamboos, and they're also running varieties of bamboo, meaning that they can uh, spread very, very quickly. Now, um, types of bamboo. Actually, bamboo is a great one if you need a block for the shade, believe it or not. Because a very few things can grow fast enough to block out, say, a neighbor that, uh, a neighbor that you don't want to see or, you know, uh, a view you don't want to look at. Few things can fill in fast enough and bamboos might be an option for you. Now, I've got here black bamboo and I've got golden bamboo. And what's the difference? Now, black bamboo, I say it starts to go into the connoisseur type bamboo. If you're a bamboo collector, black bamboo is a must have for you. Only because as it grows older, I don't know if you can see, well, you can't hardly even see on, on any of these guys, um, is that these stalks of bamboo will turn very, very black as it gets older. So, especially as it gets taller and matures, turns black. And that's what the the neat thing about them, it makes it the collector items of, of bamboo. Now, same deal, same growth habit is the golden bamboo. Golden bamboo also tends to be, um, I'm not sure why, but black bamboo, probably two times, three times as expensive as the golden bamboo. Maybe that's just because there's not a whole lot of growers of those. But the golden bamboo is just right behind me, right here. So, same growth habit. What makes this one famous, of course, is that these stalks are, can you see all the way over here? Okay, move this. You want me to move it again? Jeez. Okay, put it right back in the original place. Okay. Uh, is the golden, is instead of the stalks turning black, a turn golden. So it can be very, very bright yellow. Now, on bamboo, um, again, these are runners, so it'll get larger and larger and larger. Generally, if you're trying to contain a bamboo, you need to have some sort of barrier, concrete, plastic, aluminum, something that goes at least two feet deep. Really go much deeper. Three feet would be much better. Also, you can plant containers of it in the ground in a container, but we'll go over that later. For now, I just want to give you an idea of a block in the shade. Trim this to however height you like. When you trim it, it gets leafy on the bottom. If you don't trim it, it, you'll start seeing the stalks down below. It starts to thin out and you'll have all the leaves up on top. So um, that might be helpful to you. We'll go over on some basics on how to plant them in a container to contain them um, if you want to do a hedge of them. But lastly, I want to show you is the Fargesia rufa. And this is a newish, newish type of bamboo. Now we're looking at the winter, winter look of this guy, is that this can get to be a full-size bamboo, but it also has that um, added benefit of being a clumper. So a great one to plant as well. Now, my experience with this is that it tends to be a slower grower than the running type of bamboo. So give it, I guess, have a little bit more patience if you're trying to block a view. Also great in container because it's a clumping. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a clumping bamboo, so it doesn't, doesn't run at all. So anyway, was that where I wanted to go over, Mr. Dave? Some things like that about bamboo. In the middle of winter, some things we can plan out and things that you can plant right now. So I hope that was helpful. I do, of course, want to make sure that this was worth your time. I want to give you the quote of the day. Quote of the day today is, sometimes I lay awake at night and ask, what's so funny? <laughs> it's the same one? No? It is. Oh, it is. <laughs>
we forgot. You know what we have is a video camera, and I'm actually reading it right off. That's it. kind of like a cue card. You know, I always make it feel like, gosh, is that a, is that real? If I can't memorize it, but I really honestly can't remember what the core of the day is unless I'm reading it. But I've got it here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dave. The core of the day, are you ready? I am two with nature. Thank you, Mr. Woody Allen. That's the show for the day. Live your passion. See me around.